Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 20 by 20 inch by 2 inch gallery wrap canvas. And I'm really glad I didn't have my glasses on when that bottle of white paint exploded. So I've got paint in my eyelashes and I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula. And I just did one of these, a dirty pour on a canvas that I had pre-primed black. And now I want to try with the leftover paint to cover a primed wet canvas and see how that goes. And I expect, since I'm already painty from the last one and painty from that exploding bottle, all should be well <laughs> when I take a shower later. <laughs> I am going to just hope that I can hold on to this canvas, to tell you the truth, because they get pretty slippery when the sides are done. And I expect to make a mess. That's just the way it goes. I am using satin enamels. Actually, I'm using gloss enamels in the, uh, the layered dirty pour cup. And I'm not changing the brand. I'm just using the Folk Art gloss enamel. Boy, I put plenty of white paint on there. And I'm going to have to find a way to get it to go over to this other side a little bit. And then knock it off wipe it off and spread my black which I can see there is something in I guess I won't worry about that edge too much right now she said hoping she could stop herself <laughs> which I can't usually do very easily. I was going to add a lot more paint to my cup, but I'm really thinking that I might want to just have done with it the way it is. I'll add a little bit more. I could always add it to the canvas too instead of worrying about it. I want my edges covered right now because I wasn't sure that the paint that I've got will go far enough. To fall down over the sides and if I have some paint there already, then I'll be in good shape for that when that opportunity arises or doesn't. So I'm pretty well covered and I've got all my spatulas out of the bucket and cleaned up. So I've got a spare should I need one and I'm going to use this paint. wherever however I want so this is the paint that I have left and I want some of this modern masters red in there some more black gloss enamel some of the years Pantone color of the year And what I like with that color blue is the color pink and maybe some more white again. Nope. Okay, that's not coming out still. I'd really like that to come out now. Maybe I'll just dump some of that in there. Yeah, cool. So that seems like it should be enough paint. If I get kind of creative. With how I decide to pour. I want some more blue. And I want some more white and I moved the white. There it is. I got it. What I really want is some more purple. And what I'm going to use instead is the magenta that was handy.
I don't know if any of that's going to stay. I am going to use my small OXO omelet turning spatula and put any colors I can get out of that container right onto the painting. Because even though I lost a little bit of paint in the last painting, I didn't let lose a whole lot. My workstation is not nearly as messy as I was expecting it might turn out to be. And I'm pretty happy about that. All that's going in the bucket. And I've got some black gloss enamel left over from earlier in the day that I'm just going to stick on here in a random spot. I'm going to move some of these colors out of the way. I never did use my red or my orange. There's not nearly enough of that blue. That blue seems to sink right away. My little enamel container will go into the bucket. I need an edge catcher again and to get as much of my paint out of my way as possible. And I want to put some more blue in there because I can. That's the name of my book on the Amazon link underneath Show More. All right. So last time's edge catchers will be fine. I'm going to juggle this puppy. And anything that comes off is what is supposed to come off. really want to use an edge catcher and push stuff over to the edge and let it flow back but with this size gallery wrap canvas that's a tall order so I'm just going to let it come down as far as I can let it go fall over a little bit like I said I've got both the black and the white gloss enamel and my, my enamels are from folk art That red is pretty red. <laughs> I'm not sure I love that red. I am definitely inclined to take a straw right now. And mix it up a little. I'm going to let everything go where it wants to. pretty much. If I need negative space back, I guess I'll be getting it later because I'm not getting it now. Let's see how we're covered. We're not covered too badly. I'm losing a fair amount of paint, but I'm also covering my edges pretty well. And I like my composition. Wow! I'm really pleased. I am getting dripped on. I gotta be careful not to track paint in the house tonight. I'm glad I started with that black because I think that black is gonna stay. Let's have a look and see if there's anything that I want to improve. I gotta cant the, I gotta turn the turntable a little bit so I can leave what I've got. And I like all that. Wow. No kidding. That's really neat. And I'm going to put a little more black paint down here. Where I see a little bit of canvas showing through. And here. And this other end is fine. can sort of blend in my edge. I don't mind the drips over. I'm going to see if I can get some of this paint off me for a second. Well, that continues to morph ever so slightly. And then I'm going to torch because I can. Everything is, oh, you know, before I torch, if I want to do anything, I better do what I'm going to do. And 
And for me, that includes blowing into the paint. Which I'm not doing a whole lot of anything yet. This would be fun to balloon roll, seriously. I've got some paint and I've got a place I need some paint and I'm going to grab some paint with a shovel this time. Because it's cool paint. Let that go right down over the side. And use the rest of it right here. Nice agate looking thing. Grab some more of that paint on my skewer and just roll it right over. Let it camouflage and blend in with the rest. And I am almost done. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery inviting you to join her any day. So far so good. I still post a video every day and sometimes two. I'm trying to switch to midnight, but um, I don't know how that's working so far, so we'll see in time. So check for midnight. Check for 8.30 a.m. in the morning. And uh, no, I love you guys. Thanks for all the great comments you leave me all the time. I really appreciate that. It's morale booster. Things that YouTube are weird and staying weird. So um, I want you to know I do sell my artwork and I would love to sell some to you. Because I love the idea of having one of my paintings in someone's home that will appreciate it. So I still want to... Oh. I like that black spot, but I like it better with a little purple in it. Looks like a lot of the purple sunk, but I'm still... pretty happy. With the whole thing. I say that and then I do something else and you can't trust me and you know that. I, I like that uh, Modern Masters color red, but it's very blood red and I'm glad I got rid of most of it. I'm burying it under some pink. I think I could play with a straw on this for quite a while. And, uh, I'm not sure if I just heard my camera shut off or not. But I'm probably out of time. No, I'm not. Well, I torched to release the bubbles in the paint. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video and I use the same recipe for mixing up the enamels as any of my other acrylic paints. I mix every brand. I have no qualms about it. I love you guys. There's 85,000 subscribers. If you watch the videos more often or longer or if you watch the videos, period, all the way through, you will help me stay at YouTube, and I would appreciate that. Oh, I've got lots more paint, and I know how to use it. Ah, cool. I'm going to just cover my sides where I need some paint. Try not to drip on the cool parts of my canvas again. Cover any weird little anomalous corners that have no bearing on the rest of it. I'm not unhappy at all. Even my brownish stuff is actually purple, which is a good thing. And I've made that hard corner look a lot more organic, which makes me which pleases me greatly.
so I think I've said most of the things I need to say, except for that I have Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is for people who want to check out the products that I've put my merchandise on, since my designs on merchandise since 2013 at Fine Art America or Pixels.com. One and the same. I really like blowing into it to see what's going to come up. But overall, I love this whole entire design pattern. Um, under the video is Teespring, and you can find all over print t-shirts and all over print leggings. If you ever have a desire to see one of my paintings decorating any object, just ask me. My email is under the video. That's where you can contact me if you're interested in finding out more about the purchase of a painting or a lesson. I said I love you guys. Yeah, I just hit that. I'm super stoked. This is just a ball. And I want to thank Mina Villagas for uh, turning me on to it. I watch her videos fairly frequently to see what she's up to, and uh, she inspired me recently. So watch Mina. She's, she's uh, inspirational. I love you guys. I will see you in on. Check the community board for tomorrow's video or the Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Both of them should have tomorrow's video pre-posted. Um, I mentioned my paint pouring recipe. Also, there are uh, 11 lists of genres, and this will be in abstracts, and eight lists, excuse me, 10 lists of numbers, one through 100, and one list of 50 or so. I have over 1,000 videos. If you're looking for something, you can probably find it. I hope you guys come back again soon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you for joining me. I love you guys. Come again. Priscilla out. I'll see you anon. Excellent. Good afternoon. Cloud pours all around. You guys are still here. See if I can get the whole thing in the picture. Excellent. All right, you guys, go binge watch some videos, would you? I love you. Bye now.